Okay, greetings and salutations, everybody. My name is Jeannie, or you can call me JD. And welcome to the ninth episode of S Twisted Strands. Uh, this episode brought to you by Jersey Girl Brewing Co. King Gambrinus Belgian Triple. <laughs> yeah, that's off. No, clearly not. Mirror image. Smells fruity. Yes, this is a, a yarning podcast. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it's fruity. It's also kind of strong tasting. Not bad. Oh shit. 10% alcohol per volume. Oopsie. <laughs> okay, so knitting. I did some machine knitting. And this is one of my last pieces that I'm do doing for Pride Month, which is alarmingly next month. And this is a flag. Kind of a funny, more like a banner, isn't it? Yeah, let's call it a banner. That's more like what it looks like. Yes, I will weave in the ends or knot them and cut it off. But this is machine knit. I still have not mastered the e-wrap cast on, but I'm getting better at it. So, there. A little beginner <laughs> for Pride Month. Yarn bumming. I will probably give this to my friend who is on the council or something of uh, Booten so she can give it to the people that will be putting up the stuff. Or I'll give it to my church tomorrow. And... Uh, oh, yes, I have more knitting. This is a whip. First whip I'm showing you. This is the Kitten Booties by Anne Franklin. I started these last night. I got an email from Gathered, one of those publishing companies, and they're really cute. Um, let me see... That's apparently what they'll look like. I'm making the size... Oh, what am I making? I'm making the 6 to 12 size for my pregnant friend. Who I went to her baby shower and it was awesome. But yeah, I've reached... This is the bottom and this is the toe and the top. So, I think. We'll see. <laughs> Hopefully next week I'll have a finished object, but as you can see, this is sport weight, so it is no joke. I'm knitting these on size 3 needles. And yes, I have been chipping away at my 10 stitch blanket by Frankie Brown. I only have this much yarn left. And let me think see if I can show where I started and there goes one of the other needles for it okay so I haven't done a lot <laughs> and I'm probably going to rip this corner out because I'm really not happy with this thumb sized opening so I'm going to rip that out and start that corner over again I haven't measured it recently but let's see here it is for you. And Cleo. Cleo is interested because there's yarn dangling and she's like, heck yeah, I like yarn too, ma. Oh, it was one of those. Excuse me while I pick this up. Oh! My needle dropped. Ugh. So, other than, I, well, 
Yeah, that's about the two. Don't, don't eat it. Stop that, get out of my bag. You want to be on the podcast today? Of course you do. <laughs> Here she is. Mommy's little angel. <laughs> More like a demon. So anyway, that's it for the fiber and needlework part of the program. Now, woodworking. Hmm. I did go to my woodworking meet club meeting. And when I got there, I showed them that pretty mahogany bowl that I made. And I finished a nost pin. Nost pin. And this is how you hold it. <laughs> and you just twist the yarn around the edge. There's a lot of videos on YouTube showing this. It was extremely simple to make. And I don't know whether I want to make it shinier than this or not. I probably do. But I've used it already and it works well. And I'm pleased with it. <laughs> so proud of this one. Nost pin. My first one that I've ever made. Not based on any particular design or anything. But yeah. My next woodworking, wood turning is going to probably be uh, something like this. A little honey dipper. Yes, honey dipper. That's what it is. So I'm going to make one of those this coming week, I think. And I haven't been hiking since I hurt myself. But I had a problem with my foot. But I am fine and will probably start hiking again really soon. And... Wow, that's it. Remember what I said about... Knitting and hobbies don't really need to be a safe space because it's not safe for everybody. Well, I have been haunted by the news of the shooting that took place. Both of the shootings. <laughs> yeah, we have multiple. And um, the racist... One in Buffalo and the one in the little Texas town in a school. Some teenage motherfucker bought a gun legally in Texas. No shit. Because Texas is a gun lover state. And then he decided to kill some people. And... Much to my dismay, he will never suffer any consequences because he was shot and killed too. Probably because he threatened the police or something. I don't know. But that that really pisses me off, man. I'm a I'm a um, responsible gun owner myself. My daddy and I got into the hobby, and there's no fucking excuse for hurting someone with a gun. Uh, there's none. Guns are for fun and self-defense. And the two situations that occurred in the past two, three days, neither of the, that was true. And no, it's, it's not okay, man. And it pisses me off. Um, I don't understand wanting to hurt another human being, or even an animal, for that fact. And yeah, I'm just, I'm downright mad about that happening. Uh, we should all do better. We can do better. And, well, that's all I gotta say about that. And I'm also grumpy because I went to the library today. And that's not why I'm grumpy. I, uh, I mean, I love my local library. Love it to death. But 
uh, my mom was a librarian and I went to her library where she used to work and what I wouldn't give to see her sitting at the children's librarian's desk helping kids find books reading kids stories but that all ended in 2014 so so that made me a little sad so I'm a bit grumpy today <laughs> I'm sure you understand anyway what else did I want to just say? Oh, I was in the library to get more books about turning, wood turning, which is what you do with the lathe. And yeah, I found a lot. The Morris County Library is a terrific resource and has a lot of books. Wow, I've been talking for 11 minutes. Wow. So anyway, I'm grumpy, and what else is new? And wow, I need to clean these curtains. Or maybe it's just dark. <laughs> um. Oh, anyway, I went to the library because I love finding books on any new hobby that I take it part in. So that's how I usually do it. I, I either buy or borrow books from my library until I've exhausted the research part of my brain and I finally start doing things. So, yeah, looking at, oh, and I went nuts and bought a sharpening system from someone in my club and yeah, getting deeper into the word working hobby, so, oh. Let me see, I got something tiny. I made this little cute bird. I don't know if I showed you this, but I made this little bird out of some apple tree that someone gave me. I think it's cute. I didn't use a pattern. <sighs> well, that's it. <laughs> that's all I've got in me to say. I plan on showing you booties, showing you more blanket. I think I'm done with making rainbows for the time being, but, and I haven't cross stitched in well over a month, which is sad, but I only have so many, so much time in the day. <laughs> so I'm gonna end it here. I wanna say thank you to everybody who comments, says hello, talks to me, on social media or in the comment bot um, below this video or on the side where they put it now. Thank you so much. Your comments make my day brighter. And I love you all. Please be safe out there. Take care of each other. We can do better. And don't forget, whenever you're making crafts from the simple to the sublime, you're making the world a more beautiful place. And for that, I thank you. Bye.